Hello world, and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome to Meg's Minutes. If not, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about uh, whether or not you're actually throwing money down the drain and try ways to figure out if you are, how you can actually fix that and turn it around to be a positive thing. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, so let's get started. Uh, one of the first things that you're going to want to do to actually get control of your finances is you need to start tracking what it is that you are actually doing with your money. What are you actually spending it on? And there are a couple of ways that you can do that. Um, you can take a look at your receipts. Uh, I'd say maybe collect your receipts for every single item that you actually purchase throughout a 30 day time span. Um, and then at the end of the month, go ahead and organize your receipts, restaurants here, groceries here, gas here, uh, bills here, and then see where you are actually spending money. Uh, that will give you a good idea as to whether or not you're throwing money away. For example, uh, if you go to Starbucks every single day, like I do, horrible habit, but hey, we all have our vices. Um, if you go to Starbucks every single day and you don't necessarily need to go to Starbucks every day, maybe you can just buy the bags of coffee at Starbucks and make it at home or maybe buy a Keurig and make K-cups um, or maybe even, maybe even decrease the number of times per week that you go to Starbucks from say every single day to maybe three times a week. Uh, those are, that's just an example, of course. We all know nobody's going to get rich by actually saving month, the, the little $5 every single week that they spend uh, at Starbucks. But um, it can give you an idea of what you are actually doing with your money and different ways to figure out, hey, can I actually cut this habit back? Uh, the second way to do that is, is if you don't want to actually have an entire box of receipts laying around is you can just look at your bank statement for the last 30 days. And that's one of the easiest things to do because everything's online nowadays uh, and it's super duper easy. The third way is that you can actually download an app. Uh, I don't particularly trust apps because there's already pe enough people in uh, our business as it is and uh, looking at your bank account and I don't need any extra third parties looking at my money or what I'm doing with my money but hey uh, that may actually work for you just a thought all right moving on so after you've actually gotten all of your expenses for an entire month and you've categorized it uh, you need to create a budget a budget is going to help you uh, not just continue to categorize, but also help you stay on track to what you actually spend. Uh, I think I created my first budget way back in like 2005 when we were trying to save money um, for a wedding. And we were paying for the wedding ourselves and paying for out of pocket. And as most of us know, weddings can be super duper expensive. So as a way to help us figure out what we're doing with our money and ways that we can actually cap it, we decided to create a budget. And I've really been living on a monthly budget ever since then. And trust me, it helps so much, uh, especially the way that I do it. I actually have a specific way that I do it, but that's for a whole nother video. So once you have all your expenses lined up and you create a budget, you need to actually come up with a goal or a plan to uh, start tackling your finances. And if that's trying to actually pay off your debt, your student loans, your mortgage, whatever it is, uh, you need to actually set a goal and set a realistic goal. All right, let's not come up with like, oh, I'm going to pay off, you know, $30,000 in debt in three months and I only make $30,000 a year. Like, make sure that it's, it's realistic so that you don't actually disappoint yourself. Next, after you've actually come up with a goal, you need to start implementing what you've actually put on your budget. So, 
Uh, it's one thing to create a budget and I've created budget budgets for some of my friends and family and let's just be honest after I put in all that hard work at looking at their expenses looking at their income and trying to figure out different ways that they can um, lower their expenses and, and or increase their income they didn't actually do it so I'm like great I just wasted all this time to do this and you're not gonna do it um, and hey it happens though so now that you have a budget make sure that you implement the budget and actually stick to it now the sticking to it part is the most difficult part uh, creating ones super duper easy but once you actually decide to cut certain expenses sticking to it is not as easy as it seems and then you got to be consistent with it month in and month out after you started your budget you need to reevaluate your budget, your spending habits, and your goals uh, every single month. At the end of the month, you need to make sure, hey, I overspent here because of this, or maybe I underspent here, and maybe I need to actually lower this particular bill or this particular category, say groceries. Of course, we all know we shouldn't go to the grocery store hungry because we buy a bunch of stuff we just don't need because we're hungry and we see it and it looks good. Uh, anyway, going off on a tangent, but the point, the purpose was that you need to actually reevaluate every single month to make sure that you are actually staying on track. So I hope these items, uh, help you get control of your finances. If you like the video, please like, uh, and please subscribe so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you for stopping by and peace.